Week three update of the CX500. Gotta give her a name. Sketchy. Call her Sketchy. Anywho, not a whole lot happened. Uh, I did replace the fuel line. I want to check if it was leaking from the petcock itself or was it a bad hose? And I really think it was a bad hose because all the connections at the petcock were good. It was not leaking from the petcock but leaking like a sieve underneath here somewhere in the carbs. Couldn't really see where, but so definitely leaking somewhere in the carbs, but uh, I really think it was just an old cracked fuel line that was causing the leaks by the pet car, which is good news. So one less thing to replace. So I'm not gonna be running it too much with uh, fuel all over the garage, not a good idea. Uh, other than that, not much else has happened, right? I, mean, I wanted to run it one more time, make sure it was really running solid before taking it all apart, but I think it's just time to take it apart. Gotta get to these carbs and fix the leaks. So, uh, nothing else happened. Uh, There's the definite seat pan that's gonna go a little garbage. Keep some parts maybe, but it's finished. Uh, I built a little little rack for the engine on the jack that I'm gonna, gonna use to wheel the engine around when I get it off. Uh, that's, that's about it, that's all I've done. So, no big update. Maybe if I take some pieces apart, I'll show you what that looks like. But that's it, over and out. All right, update, afternoon Saturday. Carbs are out. I can't describe how much of a pain in the, you know what that was. I guess I got used to the Z50 couple bolts and everything's out but that was a nightmare all the parts are here it's leaking like crazy so I can play with that now and I think next step is I'll uh, I'll yank the engine see you soon Sunday morning when the carbs are apart they're a little dirty and those o-rings look a little squashed and flat so I'm hoping that's really the root cause of those terrible leaks lost a few screws as usual stripped them have to replace those it's normal I'm gonna take the uh, the bowl off see what the gasket looks like but I'll be buying a repair refurbished kit all new gaskets and o-rings and we'll get that installed I think I will not take the engine out for now rebuild these in terms of just the all the rubber put it back together give it another try and uh, if the leaks stop then i will go ahead and tear it down that's it for now okay so here they are taken apart i don't know if you can see that they're dirty as expected you know it's not terrible easily cleaned this one looks a little bit better and the float acts a little bit better this one float acting a bit strange have a look at that so you know dirty as expected but not horrendous I don't think the leaks were coming from the bowl I think I think it was probably coming from these guys but order that kit and uh, yeah fix that up